I have a kid. I used to be like that until I had my kid. Now that I have my kid, like I might be this, oh, I'm a boss, bitch, da, da, da. but uh, deep down in my heart, I would do absolutely anything to be at home and be like always with my child. There you go. But unfortunately, and I have can't. a man protecting you. Stop acting like stop. Stop leaving out the man part. Right. Yeah. Because for you to be home with your child, that means you got a man exactly. holding you down, yeah. and protecting and I'm, you. And, I'm, and that's what I'm saying. Like he's right, and that shit's hard. Like, but unfortunately, since I'm by myself, I gotta hustle. You know. Yeah. But I would do anything to have a man. Like that's what we say. That's exactly. Yo, God, yo, God, 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 you. God bless you. God bless you for telling the fucking truth. God bless you for telling the truth. And I'm talking about Instagram over a real nigga. Instagram over man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. unfortunately, like that's a platform where I can make a living off, and nobody's helping me because I don't have that protector yet. You get me? So you don't think a man could provide and protect me? Yeah, but I just haven't found that guy yet. Gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope that you're doing well. We have a video compilation for you today, and as you may be able to guess, it's on single mothers, like the single mother that was on Fresh and Fit. Um, uh, if she had done a better job choosing a man, then, well, things probably would have been better for her and she wouldn't be crying on the internet about it. But hey, you know, that's the action, that's uh, the consequences of her actions. Let's get into the compilation. Give me just one moment here. All right. I'm a single mom of two, and I kind of wanted to share why I don't and will not date anymore. So a little backstory about me. I have two boys. I was married to my second son's father for a little bit, and I had my first son in high school with my high school sweetheart. I was also engaged for a little bit recently, and I called that off, but that story's for another video. <laughs> so... Three attempts at having happily ever after. And no wonder this one has stopped dating, if she truly has. That's a yikes for me. Pretty much since I called off my engagement, I've been doing a lot of like internal soul searching about like dating and just relationships and like what I want out of that. I highly recommend you do that and journal because that's helped me like kind of figure out where I'm at in this moment today. So basically, I have decided to not date, not look, not try, not think about it, not put any energy into relationships or dating. I like 100% want to focus all of myself on my kids and my career. Don't know where my career is going yet, but again, another video. So. Wow, this one does not have her life in order, and I'm really not surprised. <sighs> yeah, focus on your kids. The reason that I've decided this is just a few things. A, dating as a single mom is so risky. Like, from this past experience of breaking off my engagement and all of that, like, unfortunately, I hurt my kids. And that has been really hard for me to process in putting them through that as well. And it's just too risky, risky for me and not something that I ever want to be put through or put them through again. Now, mind you, my kids... Oh, but you did. See, that's the worst thing about divorce and about being a single parent is how the children grow up. It's just sad. I have not met a lot of people. This was the first guy that my youngest son met and the second guy that my oldest met being my young, my, the other one being my youngest son's father. So anyway, um, it's just too risky. Another reason is, like I said, I just like want to be 100% focused on my kids and my career. Not saying that if you're dating and you have kids and you have a career that you can't be 100% in a relationship. But for me, I just don't want to even have to bother, to be honest. Like, I am all in on my kids. I'm all in on my career and where I want to go and what I want to build for us. That dating is just nowhere near my radar. And I've thought about only after, you know, three college tries, so to speak. <laughs> sure you do. But it, since calling off my wedding and ending my engagement, like getting back out there, just kind of like seeing what's out. There. And I'm just truly deep down, like not interested. Men have hurt me so much. And this is not like a fuck men video. It's really not. But I truly have zero trust zero 
in the male species. And that's also another reason. Like, my ex-fiance was, like, the nicest guy ever. And it still didn't work out. So maybe it's me. I don't know. It's me. I'm the problem. I don't know. Yeah, it is you. You're the problem. And, you know, the fact that you don't care about how these men are after your divorce and uh, it doesn't really sound like you're doing that well for your kids is just terrible. But I'm really, truly at a point in my life where I don't want to date. I will not date. And that might change in a couple years. It might change in a couple months. I don't know. But as of right now, I'm really, really happy with my decision. And I just suggest really searching internally for what you want. Not only do... Good. Stay single for goddamn ever. Focus on your kids and make sure that they're provided for because you can't you just can't do relationships man that was a shit show what's this one gonna be about so many men not care to date a single mom but so many men value that dating as a single mom you don't want to look for somebody that's just willing to deal with your kid or just okay with them you want to find somebody that views your child as a blessing as a bonus to the situation and they exist i became a single mom shortly after having my baby i really wasn't looking for a relationship but i did not think that it would be easy to find somebody that was wanting to date me but that is just so far from the truth i'm here to tell you it does come with certain aspects that can be intimidating i have certain rules set for myself that can be a little bit challenging to navigate i have a certain amount of time set or longer whatever feels right before i bring someone into my child's life now this can be kind of stressful especially if you're dating someone who has never dated a mom before or doesn't have kids themselves because you're building this connection with them alone and then eventually it comes time to introduce them to that aspect of your life and you don't know how they'll react they don't know how they'll react it could be too much for them but that's just part of the risk of dating as a mom and that's why it is so so important to maintain boundaries with them with yourself don't get too attached to them make sure you're happy on your own just view it as fun don't be guarded keep an open heart but be mindful know that no matter what happens you're good you've had this on your own you can keep having it on your own we're all kick-ass moms single moms rise yeah, I just don't see it. Like, just looking at this woman, it just looks like all of the life has been drained out of her eyes, and she's just so depressed. <sighs> like most of the women out there, you know? Big Pharma pushing all those antidepressants. Anyways, stay off that shit. Um, I'm going to wrap things up by saying uh, the first woman, well, sorry, the second woman, what an absolute, you know, show. Um... Don't spend your time dating single mothers. It's clear to me that it's not worth the effort. Um, in the rare case where maybe you have children, it might be different, and you're choosing to date a single mother. But again, be cautious, as the more I watch these videos, the more it makes me realize that, uh, well, they um, things just don't end up working out well. Kids don't end up respecting you the way that they should, and that's just that. I'm going to leave things there. Thank you for watching. I uh, wanted to tack this one on the end of yesterday's video as you guys really enjoyed it. And I appreciate you. As always, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit the notification bell as I'll usually have videos for you every other day. Except for this one because I saw that you guys were liking the last video. We can get the views above a few thousand every single day then i'll keep on putting out videos for you every single day because we'd like to see that and it gets out to more people really appreciate you guys as always um always do your due diligence out here and be careful if you choose to date single mothers i'll catch you in the next one bye bye